Hi Cancer, this is Chronic Joy Tarot and this is going to be your general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising or anyone else that happens to just show up here because that message would be for you as well. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, thank you. And just know that these re they're general readings but they're universal and they're really... Um, catered toward your own soul's growth. So every reading we sort of take an aspect of ourselves to focus on and to develop and, you know, um, create a new level of awareness about. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back and thank you. And for all of you, if you want to check me out on Instagram, you can find me there, Chronic Joy Tarot. I'm doing some mini video readings there um, that are even more general than this. They're actually only one minute long. So the oracle card that I pulled for you guys, it comes from this deck, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. And the card that I pulled for you, Cancer, is Shiva Lingam. This is a powerful stone. This is a stone that ties, it's sort of like an alchemy of the... Um, opposites you know it's your your intuition your highest awareness but also keeping you grounded it's um the seeming opposites i suppose it actually grounds you in that um you know highest sort of space that you can operate while being a human here on this planet it's um a very creative stone and you know it could it could supercharge your creative energies um and it's just knowing that you are creating your experience from your thought right thought creates life and that is the reading that we're going to do here for you okay so how to um sort of integrate those higher energies and staying grounded you know, and showing up as a human being on earth is what we're talking about here. The spread that I'm doing with the Zentero deck is the flying bird. And we have a point of liftoff here, your starting point, and then we take flight and move through to the new level of awareness. So let's begin. Look at that, a new vision. Thoughts create life. Shift your thoughts, shift your life. Right. So find a new, um, you know, especially if there's something you're feeling stuck about um, progress that's not being made in a real world project or if this is a creative project, even better. Um, change the angle that you're approaching it. Look at it from a new light. Um, if this is a relationship and you're feeling stuck in it or you're feeling um Maybe like it's run its course, look in a new direction. This is all, you know, your personal situation, you're the only one that's aware of it, right? But this guidance, you know, I'm going to try to keep it as general as I can so it pertains to the most of you. Um, but changing the way you envision your life will change your actual life, right? Do you get it? <laughs> okay. Um, the card, this left side here are the left wing, are internal energies that only you're sort of aware of that maybe you don't share with others, but that that quiet time between you and yourself. And then the right side of the wing are external energies. This card here, the first internal, is called the fear of flying. So it's a possible block to your progress. And so mastering this energy is going to be important. And we pulled for you the miser. So perhaps this is like this woman holding in all her riches for herself. She doesn't want to share. She doesn't want to open up. She doesn't want to um, give anything away, right? Which is a protective um, step that a lot of us take, and that's a necessary step at times. But for now, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, it's probably better if you opened up, gave... You know, t take some of those um, real, um, 
I would, I'm not well, personal, intimate, um, those deeper, intuitive, knowing um, spaces that you carry and share it. Let it out. Let others know. If there's something like going on in your outer world that you aren't in alignment with or you can kind of see, if you intuitively see how it's going to turn out, um, share that with others. Let them know. Um, if this is just simply about um, being more open and shining your light, radiating your light, it could just simply be that. Uh, that will help with this union sort of of your 3D and 4 and 5D experience. You know, it will help with, with integrating that if you let your light radiate from within. Um, but knowing that there isn't only one way to go about these things is going to be really important. And then sharing that knowledge, sharing, oh, you know, maybe we could try this. I don't know. Maybe you guys have a situation in your family or at work and it's feeling like it's not going to be resolved and you something comes to you intuitively that yeah you know what we could try this it could really work but you hold it back and you don't want to share it because of for whatever reason you're guided to go ahead and share it you know share your new thoughts about things with others in your external world you might have this vision that you know there's only one way that's acceptable right the dream this is specifically talking about a romantic, like growing up, living happily ever after. But I'm taking this more general and thinking that, you know, perhaps you're in a situation where you've always believed there's only one way it's going to be able to turn out in order for it to be satisfactory. And what this guidance is saying is, yeah, no, that's not the case at all. Change the way you see it and it will change, it will change in front of you, right? Okay, the next internal energy played off of this external energy. It, the next internal one is guilt. So in your mind, you might be holding back some of this um, possibility of seeing things in a different way because maybe you feel you're, you'll let somebody down if you try to change course. Or maybe you feel um, you'll, you know, this... I keep jumping back between this being a real world situation in a group and then of a one on one, like a relationship. My, I'm kind of hopping all over the place. <laughs> but with another or with others, if you feel there's another approach to resolution or to, um, you know, moving on to the next step, the next little goal, don't hold back. Don't worry about how it's going to sound. Don't worry about what others think about it, right? Once you clear that out of you, once you clear um, that internal sort of hesitant energy, look what's waiting for you above is all that beautiful, bright, shiny light and flowers. So you need to um, put aside the heavier, denser thoughts and focus more on those higher intuitive um, you know, sort of strong beams of light that you know are there guiding you to your next, to your next level. Um, in your outer world, it will become easier to fully rest in your experience. Once you create some of this shift down here and this, these lower energies or, um, you know, the lower part of this reading, once you create that awareness that I can, you know, I could change the course of things just by changing the way I see it, then you'll begin to see things more fully. You'll be able to really fully be there and be present for life. This figure is, you know, walking through the forest and passing by a tree, but she's not just passing it by. She's with it, right? It's enveloping her. She's feeling its branches, she's watching the leaves fall, she's probably even, you know, smelling the, um, the autumnness of the leaves as they're all pretty much turned red. She's really fully in the experience and that will create, um, that will be created for you in your world once these um, 
you know, higher energies and groundedness are integrated, okay? And then the next, this is another mind card here, is the sorrow card. So you might find that you've got guilt and sorrow here. I wonder if you have a lot of memories holding you down, holding you um, back from your higher self. I wonder. I'm not sure. That just might be for some of you. Um, and then I'm just feeling like this, these are, this is a heavier um, space within you that needs releasing. That, um, you know, every focus, every new way, every shift that you can make in the way you see things can um, chip away at those denser feelings. And I'm feeling like these are memories of some sort that are um, weighing you down. So, um, new way of seeing it, trusting that your light and the intuition within you really is the way forward, I think will help to ease some of those energies. And then you're opened up for a create. And remember I said in the beginning, if this is a creative project, did I say that or did I just think that? Um, wide open, ready, all the colors, all the openness, reaching for, you know, reaching for the moon dust and um, that, that will really open up for you. It's a matter of that alchemy, you know, that integrating the higher and lower energies, integrating them and moving forward, um, you know, with a new perspective, okay? All right, Cancer, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I um, look forward to talking to you again very soon, okay? Love you guys.